Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Dee Plans and Budgets. Today, it's time for the green binder. And when I say today, I mean like five minutes since I recorded my last one. As I said, I'm going to record them in the same location because I have a nice shady spot to actually do some recording here. However, I have actually... I'm going to upload this on a different day and put in different scenic footage because part of what I want to do for sure this year is share scenic footage with you. I am doing the D binder day, which is one of my most fun binders, and I'm going to get the money and make change and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my binder ready to go. I've got, or I've got my change ready to go. I've got my binder ready to go. Let's get started on my favorite binder, the D binder. And today I am doing 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 178 dollars. I'm just gonna keep that in a pile up there. Okay, and we can see all this. So let's start with this one right here, and it is my 60 envelope challenge and my 60 envelope challenge is here and I pre-drew two of them before I left because I have a good amount of money today I'm just going to start right off with this $50 I don't want this to bleed I'm going to color it in and be right back All right, here we go. So this is my dreams savings challenge in my binder. This is kind of long range. I would someday love to have a tiny home, either in a second location or just move to a tiny home. And this is money to help with that. That might be an RV in an RV park somewhere I keep up here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm not sure yet, but this is what this this is what this binder is for. So I'm doing the 60 envelope challenge for that. I'm doing it at the wingity way like Veronica on 40 plus life. However, I already pulled out the tabs before I left the house. So I have one, two, 53, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 390 into this challenge. I have another savings challenge that's been completed. I do also have a dreams binder in my long term and I'll transfer that when I get home. And this is another roll of the die. We had these in my last video. Put these dice out. Let's get the box out. Let's roll the dice. 12. Boy, this is treating me good today in terms of getting some money in here. Okay, $12. Let's do this pink right here. Let's see if I have change in here. I do, I have 13, so, meh. Or I have three, I'm sorry. So let's just do 12, 10, and 11, 12. So in this, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 2, 3, 4, and 5, $95. Okay, lawn mowing, I have the completed challenge, but then I've also put this in a sinking fund, so I'm not doing actively doing this anymore. It's being done through my sinking fund. And after I get a good start in that, I'll start doing challenges again for lawn mowing and then funding my sinking fund that way. But for right now, this is not getting stuffed. Bags and walls is fully funded. Have I been there? Yay! And I believe I did. I drew some cards before I left and wrote out the where they have to go. And let's start with Arizona. And I know that Arizona is right there. So Texas, of course, and then we have New Mexico, and then we have Arizona. So I'm gonna color this in and be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna mark Arizona off because I stuffed that one and it's getting $5 because of course I have been to Arizona. Okay, and have I been there? It's getting this $5. And 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 15, and 17. I'm taking these three bills and I'm grabbing a $100 bill. 
I drastically need change. So I'm going to put it in there. Have I been there? Is doing good. That's going to take me a while because I do one a week and there's 52 states. But I cashed up this twice a month. I'm sorry. So, all right. It's time to farkle. When I get home, I'm going to be doing the wandering gnome. While I'm on the road, I am doing farkle right here. So uh, let's do some farkle. I have my farkle board right here. This is a note to D to remember to put the link to this free game down below so that you can play Farkle if you would like to as well. Let's get this and I need all six dice. So I'm gonna go ahead and remember I already, um, I assume once I started the round, I assumed I got the 500 points to get on board. Hold on just one moment. All right, my grandson X is here. Go hi, put your hands out there and go hi. hi. Go put him out here right over top of this. Hello. Okay, he's going to roll the dice for, for Farkle. All right, roll all those dice in this box. Hold on to them. Okay, roll them in there. Good. No, just, just, okay, there we go. All right, so he has two ones and a five. We're going to keep the one. Keep that one. Roll these. Throw them in there. Oops, and I said your name. I'll have to blank that out. Okay, so another one. And roll them again. And a five, so we have 250. We're gonna keep going and roll them again. And 350, so 30, 350. So we're going to stop here, but we're gonna do one more round. Just <clears throat> and we're gonna round this up to four. I'm gonna keep saying his name. I'll edit it out. Okay, what do we have? Two. We have twos. Let's keep just this Bubble one. Gum. Okay, here, X, let's do this. Look. Bubble I gum. know, here, okay, roll these. Roll them in there. Okay, what do we get? Ooh, we got three of a kind. We got three fives. That's 600. Okay, we are going to quit. All right. That was all the help I need. You're good. You can go play now. Thank you very much. <laughs> so you're welcome, Grandma. <laughs> all right. So that was my grandson. I said his name twice, but I'll edit it out so you won't hear it. But if you hear a blank... Thing, it's because I said his name and I have to edit it out. We well, you know, you don't want to protect the little guy's privacy. $25 and $26. Always love a surprise appearance by cute little adorable hands. I'm going to come play with you in like five minutes. Okay, X? Okay, so my biker trike, which is basically now just turned into an expensive toy if I want, because I don't think the biker trike is going to work in my van. Uh, and I just made this up says be the best version of you well i thank you i will i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to see what's under here nope i had to cut this down to fit inside the envelope so i know this one i'll be able to see let's see what's in here and it is eight dollars oh 28 dollars Woohoo! okay 28 dollars this is an expensive and you know what I am going to put just the eight and two together and I am putting 10 in here. I'm gonna write that right there because I do not wanna put $28 into this because it's a very long term goal and it doesn't need that much money that quickly. I have a completed challenge in here in it and I'm going to put this back. Okay, and then another scratch with my beautiful cow. Let's see how much she wants today. Where did I put my scratching tool? Oh, right here. Okay, let's see how much this cow wants today. Well, I can afford more than one dollar. Isn't that funny? Twenty-eight to one. And let's go this one here. And two dollars. I think that's good. I don't want to finish these up too quickly on the road because I don't have a ton of extra challenges with me. I don't have Ladybug. That's three dollars. Let's see what I have here in here already. I have five, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21. So let's do five, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, and take a 20. I have $24 in this challenge. All right, next is Puppy and a savings challenge that I created because of my love of odd numbers. And it is 
the odds are in your favor. All right, so this is just one of the dice ones where you throw the dice and you do the one number and the one number and what's on the intersection you save. I specifically made these with all odd numbers. Yay, so let's roll the dice. And the three is over here, so we're gonna do the three and six is $3. And this is in my puppy binder. Yay, make a puppy. And I'm gonna do it one more time. And this will be the left one. One and five is 13, my favorite. Yay, so $18 going into this challenge. You know what? $16 total. That's actually a good one. 10, a five, and a one. And do I have a 10 down here? I do not. Put two 10s in, take a 20 out. I'm just gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna be right honest and up front. This is really hard for me to do, just a pile of cash, but didn't bring a coin tray with me, so, or a cash tray with me. So this is what I get. And this roll the dice one, I have it already started here. And let's just roll two dice. A three and a three. I'm gonna color these in off camera. So that's six, let's do two more. A two and a five. So six plus seven is $13. And $13 going into this challenge. On roll the die. This is the advantage of using prop money is I can sit out here in a park like this and I can do this, but I don't have to worry about getting robbed because if they rob me, they just get a box of prop money. Although that stuff isn't cheap, but still, you know what I mean. So now in roll the dice, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 58. So you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this and this and this. I'm gonna throw this over here and grab, grab this 50, $58. Making change as I go along. That's how Liz does it, because she doesn't want to do a consolidation. And next one, phone. This is to buy a new phone. I keep going back and forth between whether my a new phone is a want or a need for me. Now it doesn't want to stay charged, but oh well. So this is, I think I'm doing it at full price too. This is gonna get $25. Well, if I wasn't doing it at full price, I'm doing it at full price today. Because I think a new phone is in my future. I started out because my carrier, I use T-Mobile, and I am just getting so much better coverage everywhere. And so I started out thinking I wanted to put money in here and get a, a screen with a larger, or a phone with a larger screen because I had so much coverage but now my phone's starting to die. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 90. Yes, you know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna put this pile over here and grab a 50 for $90 into my phone. Just a couple more here. I'll get to go play with my grandson. And we have this one that I'm completing first before I move on to the next my little gnome challenge. And how about a nine? How about a nine? Where is that pot of flowers? Right there, okay. And let's do the pot of flowers. There we go. Put this back in. These I just made myself by photocopying the stickers in black and white. And do I have a dollar bill in here? I do not, but we're gonna go five, seven, eight, nine, and then we're gonna go 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And we're gonna put that over here and grab it from here. I'm not sure I did that right. I think I needed to put the money over there. Hmm. 
No, I did it right. Okay, $63. Okay, next is Amazon, things that I want. And this is my many ways to save or many ways to play. So I think today I'm gonna to throw a 20 sided dice and do one half. Let's get this bag of dice out here. If it's more than 10, I'll save one half. Otherwise I'll save the full amount. Let's get this box up here and it's a 15. So let's save $7. Because I'm almost out of money. So if I need to save seven and I have seven in here, that's 14. I'm gonna need to make change. Okay, made change, $7. Okay, so this one now has 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 62, and four. I'm gonna do this and grab a 50. So 50, 62, and four. And this is for Amazon stuff. I've got one completed challenge in there already. Super excited about that. This is also for Amazon and throw those dice on there and it is, I just, Pick a space, each space is $5. I'm gonna color it in off camera and be right back. Okay, and $5 going into this challenge. We only have $3 left, y'all. And 10, look at this, $20. So it's now 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, and 20. Pop that there. Grab this 20. I know, that annoys some people. And you know, I get confused once in a while, so it's not always the safest thing to do. All right, I have some buffer. Oh, this is for Farkle. I can't Farkle. No, this is Farkle later. Oh, the domino savings. You know what? I don't have enough to. Oh, I have buffer. Okay, I'm doing both of these because I have a bunch of buffer in here. I want to play both of these challenges. So I will just get the money out of the buffer. Okay, I'm just rolling two dice and that determines which domino I fill in. So a three and a two is my three and a two domino open. It is taken, so let's roll again. How about a four and a one domino? That one is open. Put that under so I can just color it right here. Okay. These bleed through, which is why I have to put something underneath it. This is to save up to possibly get either Canva or Creative Fabrica. I haven't decided which one. I may eventually start putting a few things in a shop and that is why I am saving up for this. I need to not be traveling so much because it would be really hard. Let's get this money out of the buffer, $13, and five can go into Canva. And whatever is left when I'm done, I will put back in the buffer. So 20, 40, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So 20, 40, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. $49 into Canva. And because I, I needed to do a surfing sloth. That's why I had to take money out of the buffer because I needed a surfing sloth. I just needed a surfing sloth in my life today. Okay, which sloth do we want? Is there a $10 sloth in here? No, but there's an $8 sloth in here. Okay, let's go. This little guy, he's so cute. I mean, seriously, Liz, right? Surfing sloths. Okay, but this guy, is he hold, I think he's holding on to a surfboard. Okay, but I'm not sure. So you know what? We're gonna put him back here in the mountains, just starting to slurf, or slurf, just starting to surf. And he was $8. I'm gonna see if I have some change in here. I'm pretty sure I do. 
Okay, so change. Five, six, seven, eight. So now I have 10, 15, 20, one, two, three, and four. And yes, you know what I'm gonna do. Just do this. $24 in surfing slots. And I'm going to throw this $5 back in the buffer. I don't keep track of that. I have, I will show you. I have a penny challenge that I am doing for this buffer. When I do have extra money left over, I put it in there and I just change whatever number it is and put a penny in there. That is my D binder. It went way too quickly today. It's my favorite binder to do because it's all about things just for me to have fun with. I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm going to be putting some different uh, scenic footage in this video than the other one. On the way to take my grandson to a really cool water park, we drove the back roads and these are the fields of the Willamette Valley in outside of the Portland, Oregon area. Kind of runs down the I-5 corridor for a bit. This is just really fertile land and they grow so many crops. Uh, nuts, berries, the like, and it's just a beautiful landscape. After the water park, a fun time was had by all, and I thought I would include this little gem of a picturesque setting on the way back. And you know what? All I can say, bye.